So you just bought a brand new iPad Pro and you want the very best accessories. Well, the problem is that most of the videos that you end up watching seem to recommend the same two accessories, smart keyboard case and an Apple Pencil. And don't get me wrong, these are great accessories, but you are really looking for something a little bit different that's gonna take your iPad Pro to the next level. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share my six must-have accessories for the 2018 iPad Pro. Let's get started. What's going on everyone? It is Mike and welcome back to Tech 24-7 TV where we bring you the best in unboxing and product reviews so you can make informed buying decisions. So like many of you, I was on the hunt for the very best accessories after purchasing my brand new iPad in November of 2018. Well, that's because it had all these newfangled technologies like USB-C and Apple kind of upsold it that it was capable of doing so much. I wanted to make sure that I was prepared in order to take advantage of all the new technologies that the iPad Pro could deliver on. But as I said in the opening, after reading a countless number of blogs and watching a zillion YouTube videos, all of the videos seem to recommend really the same two accessories, Apple Pencil, Smart Keyboard Case. Maybe someone would throw you for a curveball and tell you to get a debrand skin to protect the back of it, but really, this is not what I was looking for. Well, the difference is that I think that you are like me and you want to take the, your iPad Pro game to the next level, which is why I'm going to share my six must-have iPad Pro accessories. Now let's talk about some cool accessories. My first must-have accessory is the core of my setup because it's responsible for making sure that my iPad Pro is always on stable footing and that it is going to be easily accessible no matter the task at hand. This is the Sateki R1 hinge stand, that's kind of a mouthful, All right, and this costs $34.99. Now I've used several different stands for my iPad and I can tell you that the Sateki knocks it out of the park from a design and usability perspective. Once you pick this up in your hand, you can tell that this is a premium product just by the substantial amount of weight that it has. It's great because it's available in several different colors, including rose gold, gold, silver, black, and space gray. The premium look and feel continues throughout the small details, including the thick foam that Sateki added anywhere it comes in contact with the other object. You're gonna find that foam padding along the bottom lip where the side of your iPad Pro rests, along the back rest, all right, where the back of your iPad Pro is gonna sit, in addition to the bottom of the stand where it's gonna come in contact with any other object. I think, again, it's just really great. As I talked about in my 45-day review of the iPad Pro, my tablet goes with me every day, and on most days, it ends up needing to be charged all right, when I get home. My second must-have accessory allows me to quickly charge the iPad in addition to be able to go in and consolidate space in my bag. And it's not what you think it is. This is the Plug Bug from 12 South and it costs $39.99. Now, I've talked to many people about 12 South. Some people haven't heard of them. So if you have not, this is a company that makes accessories that is exclusively designed for Mac, right? And you should definitely check them out. Like this, uh, that laptop stand, that's 12 South as well. So the Plug Bug is one of those products that's so simple, it's really surprising that no one thought of it earlier. All you do is you take your USB-C charger that you have, that's from Apple, you remove the wall adapter, all right? And then once you've removed the wall adapter, you plug in the Plug Bug and voila, what you get is the ability to charge your device, all right, for originally using the USB-C port. You have the wall adapter that's built into the Plug Bug and you have a second USB-A port Right, this is gonna be able to delivering 10 watts of power to a second device. So, I mean, what that means is that for this $40, you can actually kind of make this into a dual purpose charger. Now I no longer need to carry two chargers with me, right? Now the best thing about the plug bug is that I have a little bit of an older version and 12 South just updated it. They released the plug bug duo. So instead of having one port here on the back, all right, it actually has two ports. Both ports are still capable of delivering 10 watts and it costs the same price. Now, if you didn't already purchase the 30 watt charger from Apple, and who can blame you because I think it's $50, I have an alternative that's gonna give you kind of very similar functionality and it's gonna be a little bit more affordable than the USB-C charger from Apple and plug bug combination. This is the 30 watt two port charger from Anchor and it costs I think around $23. So uh, very kind of aptly named. It is 30 watts of total power between two different ports. You have the USB-C port here, which is power delivery. That's gonna be able to deliver 18 watts of power to your uh, iPad or to any, uh, I guess, any other device. 
in addition to 12 watts of power via the USB-A port here that's on the bottom. Now, a couple things to be aware of here. So this is 18 watts, like I mentioned. This is the same wattage charger that comes with your iPad Pro. What you're getting here is the ability to charge a second device via the 12 watt port here on the bottom of it. The plug here is gonna be fixed. It's not removable like you see on the more expensive Apple USB-C charger. Uh, so you are gonna be getting uh, at two thirds of the, you know, the, the ability to charge two thirds of the performance my third must-have accessory is gonna be perfect for anyone who's a photographer and likes to work with their image files on their iPad Pro. This is the Unitech three-slot memory card reader and it's gonna be $15 on Amazon. In my opinion, this is gonna be a great reader to have in your bag because it supports micro SD like you find on, on GoPros and on Android phones. It's gonna support SD like you find on most modern cameras in addition to being able to re uh, read compact flash which you see on, on a lot of more expensive or even older cameras. As an alternative to the Unitech, I would suggest the first party solution from Apple. This is the USB-C to SD card reader and it's $39.99. The reason why I would suggest this card reader over others, this is UHS-2 compliant and what that means is that it can read and write data at 156 megabytes per second compared to the Unitech version which only supports UHS-1. UHS my fourth must-have accessory is just about the most integral part of being productive on the iPad. This is the full-size aluminum keyboard from Satechi and it features the same styling as the R1 hinge that we saw earlier. It's available in several different finishes. Very importantly, you can connect to up to three devices with a touch of a button. It's got great key travel and it charges via USB-C. And what I like best about this keyboard is that function modifier keys are here on the top row. So after the keyboard is connected, you have the ability to use the function keys based on the integration being in iOS. My fifth must-have accessory comes from a little company in Seattle that you may or may not heard of. This is the iPad Pro Cash and is from Tom Bin and it retails for $45. So if you haven't heard about Tom Bin, they, it's a guy named Tom who designs and manufactures high quality luggage in Seattle, Washington. The cache is a tablet sleeve which is designed with quarter inch padding all the way around to protect your iPad from bumps and bruises in addition to YKK zippers to seal it up. If you have a Tom Bin bag, the cache has a set of one inch rails on the back of it and a set of clips so you can connect into your bag so it can slide easily in and out of. Otherwise, it can easily fit into almost any bag that you have. So my sixth and final must-have accessory is the 13-inch Sling Sleeve Deluxe from Incase, which costs $59.99. Now the Sling Sleeve is made of an all nylon construction. It features two pockets on the front. Those pockets are large enough to hold an iPhone, a notebook about around the size of a field notes, and some dongles or chargers. This is in addition to the interior pocket that is lined with faux fur in order to protect your iPad. So there you have it, folks. My top six accessories for the iPad Pro. Let me know what you would add or remove from my accessory list. What is your favorite accessory? What are you carrying with you on a daily basis? Let me know in the comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next one.